Doing good, doing good. Glad to be here. Coach, tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been coaching. Well, it's my third year back uh, at my alma mater at Wayland Baptist. Uh, had a few stops before then, but it, it was uh, good to get back here a few years ago and uh, try to build our program back to where we wanted to. You know, be back here to Kansas City. And what does it mean for your team to be here? Well, I think everybody at the be beginning of the year uh, is kind of fighting for the same thing, is to get a, a, a bid to get back here and have a chance to uh, you know, play as long as you can. So uh, in our league, it's very difficult to, uh, to win enough games to get here, and I'm real proud that this group was able to get us back here. Coach, your first round of was Georgetown. You know, you, you had such a, uh, Georgetown had such a track record of, of not only being here, but playing well here. We wanted to try to slow them down, and, uh, you know, they had some guys uh, that uh, really played well. Uh, I thought our, our young men really battled, and it came down to the last, you know, minute of the game, and uh, we weren't uh, able to make enough plays down the stretch, uh, but a lot of credit goes to Georgetown. You know, real proud of the way our guys competed. Well. You know, it was it was a tight ball game down the stretch, and uh, you know, uh, Monty Wilson made some real big plays for Georgetown. He just was kind of able to uh, hit a hit a big shot late that uh, forced us into having a you know, the foul to get back into the game. And so, uh, you know, the ball was able to go their way uh, just right there at the end. But it, you know, it's one of those games that comes down to a play or two, and you know, they were able to make them. This is definitely in the team's tournament right now. Um, what does this group of guys mean to you, players? Oh, wow. that you know, it's just a wonderful group. It was a group that all year uh, they just continued to get better. Uh, and the seniors really wanted to make their mark in the program, and uh, we really wanted to kind of break through and and, uh, and, and get back on the national scene. And, and I think this is a group that will always be remembered as a, a the team that gets back here. And so I just couldn't be more proud with their resiliency and just their commitment to. Uh, to getting better every day, and uh, you know they were rewarded with a, a bid to the national tournament. So very proud of them. Coach, can you give us any insight on the next season? No, we want to build on our our, uh, our, our steps to uh, of success that we're able to make this year. You know, we need to add some really key pieces. We lose some very good seniors, uh, but in the recruiting, we want to try to you know, put a product together that can get back to Kansas City. Coach, any last words? Thank you. You know. Uh, Thank you to our, you know, our, our coaching staff does a great job, and, and these seniors, you know, really enjoy the journey with them. Uh, you know, you always want to play one more day, but uh, I couldn't, couldn't be more proud of those seniors' effort down the stretch. What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's whatsupkansascity.net and cascadesports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke, Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory we call success goes to the best prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. So don't just like it, share it.